Hello and welcome to this setup tutorial for the board game Alder Quest. If you'd also like to know how to play this game, then I have a separate video for that. First, let's get it ready on the table. I'll be setting it up for two players. For a change, start by picking a first player. That person gets the red pouch and the first player token. It's called the initiative. The other player, number two, gets the blue pouch. You have all these tokens in your color, but before you put them in your pouch, you have to leave out a few. Keep six tokens with a bear trap on it, these ones. Keep out two tokens with a snowflake on it, this one. And finally some acorns with points on them. One showing three points, one showing two points, and two tokens of one point. Keep all that with you, and the rest of your tokens can go in the bag. This is the same for both players. These tokens are called tiles. And now you can take out the game boards. You have this field board that can go in the middle. And this other one, the matching board. You have to place this board with this side against the other board. This side shows the roots of this big tree, and that's what should be against the field board. But just for now, so you can see what I'm doing, I'll keep it the other way around. Now take out the black pouch with all the other tokens in it. These ones, they're called runes. Take out four runes of each color, so 16 in total. To speed things up, I've already set mine aside. If you're setting this up with me, feel free to pause the video. Two of each can go to the side for now, and the other eight will go on the two bottom rows of the matching board. There's one rule for this. You can't have two rune tokens of the same color next to each other, not even diagonally. You can give them a shuffle or just already place them. They go like this on the two bottom rows. I don't need to do anything else with this board, so I'll turn it back the way it should be, like this. And keep the pouch with all the other runes in it by this board. Next, we put stuff on the field board. I'm red, so I place my tokens on this side of the board. The tokens with the bear traps on them stay where they are, but the other tokens with the points and the snowflakes will go on the board. If you want, you can just pull plan where to put them. Personally, I just shuffle them so even I don't know what is where. Make sure you place them all face down. Don't show the points or the snowflakes. Alright, as the red player, I place my tokens on the lighter spaces, like this. The blue player places her or his tokens on the darker spaces, like this. It should look exactly like this. I hope you've had a proper look, because I'm going to place the tree on the board now. It goes on the field in the middle space here. You have these three cards, the relic cards. Shuffle them and then place the deck face down on top of the tree. And now both of the boards are done. Time to take out the four guilds. Each guild has these long hero cards. They come in green 
white, yellow and orange. Each guild also has its own regular deck of cards, these quarrel cards. Place each deck with the same color as the heroes. And finally, each guild has these square decks of cards in the same four colors. These are the minion cards. Make sure that each deck has the side with the leaves all around face up and that each deck is shuffled. These are the four guilds and the three types of cards each guild has. The second player, the blue one, gets to pick a guild first. Blue chooses the green guild and takes all the green cards and also these two green rune tokens that you set aside earlier. Now I get to pick a guild as the red player. I'll go for the orange one, all the cards and also the two orange rune tokens. After that player blue picks a second guild. Blue chooses the white guild and takes everything. That leaves me with the yellow guild, so I take the cards and the two yellow runes. Take one of the square decks, the minions, make sure the deck is shuffled, and then place it here or here next to the board on your side. The other minion deck of cards can go on this other space next to the board. You've got three spaces left, and that's where the heroes are going to be. Pick three of the hero cards. They will go next to the board like this. The heroes that you didn't choose can go back in the box. There's only one rule for this. You can't pick heroes of only one guild. You have to have at least one hero of both guilds. I have my orange one here and my yellow hero here. And I chose this one as my third. Almost done. You have these two regular decks of quarrel cards. They can be mixed together to make one big deck. Give them a really good shuffle and then keep this deck close to you. The blue player does everything that I did. Choose three heroes, place the minions in between. And only the blue player gets to take two cards from the minion deck. As the first player I don't get to do that, but I have this initiative token that makes me the first player. And that's it. This is how you set up all their quests. I did it in this order, but if you want to, you can do it in a different order. First pick the guilds, and then decide which heroes to place and where you want your tiles on the board. Either way, this is what the end result looks like, and you're ready for the first round. If you'd like to know how that goes, follow me to the tutorial. Thank you for watching this setup. Feel free to leave a comment, and see you for the next one.